to, uh, hi, Mike, good to see you. Uh, you want to march and bang, go to a football game. This is no good, Tony. What, Mike? You, uh, you expecting Brenda to be at the door every time the doorbell rings. Are you here for any particular reason? Uh, keeping you honest comes to mind. Well, you're about 15 years too late. Are you trying to tell me that your whole day would not have changed if Brenda had been at that door instead of me? It's not happening, Mike. I don't waste my time on things that aren't happening. You're sure about yes. that? Yes. How? How? You, you have to know everything, don't you? Okay. Brenda is busy at the moment trying to kick two very bad habits. One has blonde hair and has deeper dimples than I do, okay? And the other one is about yay big, round. Am I supposed to know what that means? Yes, Mike. Pills. Figure it out. And you're doing nothing to help? I'm giving her all the room she needs. Room? Yeah. Sonny, giving Brenda room doesn't tell her that you care. You gotta do something. Or else how's she gonna know? to the bank, Mike. She already knows. Brenda, you'll never guess what I thought about in the shower. Well, maybe you will. Brenda? Brenda, you here? Brenda? Yeah, hello, get me... Never mind. Let's go in place. Sorry. Where were you? I went for a walk. <laughs> Did you enjoy your stroll? Yeah, I, I thought I would be back before you got out of the shower. Uh, Brenda, if you're going, if you're going somewhere, I want to be with you. Jax, Harry's dead. I'm not in danger anymore. Hey, well, maybe this isn't about you. Because you know, last time you were supposed to be here, and you weren't, and I almost lost you. Sorry. I'll try and be more considerate. Thank you. Hey, you don't. I'm okay. I feel like a big blackboard and the rest of the world is a big nail scratching down me. Mm -hmm. Wanna lie down? Oh, yeah, I could try that again. My record is about 30 seconds so far. Well, I could lie down with you. I would distract you a little bit. Yeah. Leave it. This is Jax. Please leave me a message. Ooh. Jax, it's Renford Thaw. We still haven't received your final figures for putting in the roads on our Illinois project. I forget that. Frankly, I... Renford, hi. Yeah, they came through this morning. Um, are you at home? Yeah, let me, uh, let me read through them one more time and I'll fax them right back to you. Thanks. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. We'll be back in a flash. on that couch until we grow roots out of our back pockets. That's it? We're going to sit? Well, I'm you know, sure we can make it a little bit more intriguing than, than just sitting. You know, you can put your head on, on my shoulder and I'll put my head on yours. <laughs> You'll be really astonished and one thing can lead to another. <laughs> okay. All right. Just give me a second. I'll be right back. I'll be here. Okay.
How bad is Brenda Hook? She went through the worst of the withdrawal while we were in the cave. Shakes. Sweating. She threw up a couple times. But the pill she's on takes a while to kick. And not just physically. I saw it in her eyes, Mike. She's hooked. And you think she might be back on them? Well, could be. You know, she didn't say anything to the doctor. And it's pretty obvious she didn't say anything to Jax because, you know, you heard him the other night. She's been hooked for months. He didn't have a clue. Well, neither did you. Well, I... I wasn't living with her. I've seen the signs on other people. You take pills for the pain, and you take pills to avoid the pain, and you just start taking them. If she were on them, I'd have noticed and stopped her. So if there's one thing I've learned, it's that people need to stop for themselves. Yeah, I could stop, Brenda, but you're right, you know. That wouldn't solve the problem. She's got to keep them on her own. And she will. Yeah, but chemical dependency isn't something you just wait out like the flu, Sonny. She needs professional help, and you have to make sure that she gets it. Well, what do you want me to do, Mike? Ouch. Kidnap her and, and throw her into rehab? Arrive on, on her doorstep and inform her husband that, hey, you know, your wife's a drug addict. If I tell Jax, I betray her. I, I know how that feels. She did it to me. Good intentions or not, she wrecked my life. I can't do the same there. Hi, listen, I'm taking your pregnancy test, and it says on here um, that it takes about two minutes to get the results. Is that accurate? Yes, it does say that right here in the directions, but I'm feeling a little nervous about this, and I just thought I'd call and check. Is that all right with you? How'd you on the phone? Yeah, I'm talking to Robin. You better give me a straight answer, Brenda. I'll swear I'll break down the door. What? You got till three. One, two. Okay, I'm opening the door. See? What the hell's going on? <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what's going on. I was ordering us dinner, and I wanted it to be a surprise. <laughs> That's it? That's it? Don't you mean, wow, Brenda, what a great idea? Yeah, wow, Brenda, that's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, is it all right with you if I have a little bit of privacy in the bathroom? Is that okay? Well, when you put it that way. Thank you. I'm sorry about the, the, the door. Oh. That's all right, honey. You just need to lay off the cop shows, all right? Okay, I'll be out soon. Jax is Brenda's husband, and you aren't going to do anything to wreck her life. Now, that implies that Brenda should be with Jax, and it sounds to me like that's the man who's given up. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not giving up on anything, Mike. I'm just not going to force her. She will come to me when she comes to me. You're sure? She always does. Look, when you were stuck in that cave, I spent some quality time with Jax, mm -hmm. and... He loves her, Michael, with everything he's got, and he's not going to let her go easy. Well, his boat doesn't count, and neither does yours, only Brenda's. 
And right now, she's scared, and she's got every right to be. I hurt her as much as she hurt me, and sometimes that takes a while to get past. But there are a few things worth fighting for, and we're one of them. I mean, what if she decides to stay with Jax? It's not, it's not, a, it's not an accident that she, she was on painkillers while she was married to him. She needed the pills so she could pretend that she was happy. But the solution is, just go to the person who makes you happy. You. Yeah. The great thing about love, Mike, is it doesn't have to make sense. It just has to be. I just think you should try to help her kick the pills. Or at least find out if she's all right. I could, I guess I could, I don't know, I could call her. Please. Or I will. Okay, this is the way this works. I take you into my confidence and you show me I'm justified by keeping your mouth shut. Otherwise, this will be a last conversation on anything more important than a liquor order. Consider me silent. Look, I, I don't want to lose you, Michael. Especially when I'm starting to believe you're going to be okay. I'm okay. Like always. Okay. Um, I thought you went to the bathroom to take painkillers. That's why I overreacted at the locked door. Well, that's okay. You were worried about me. It's a natural response. Well, it's not a smart one. Because, you know, I can't start following you around, sneaking up on you, looking to catch you. I need to be a part of what you're going through. Otherwise, I won't be able to help you. You are helping me. No, it's, it's not enough. We need a we need a cause of action. Now, is there anything that you need medically supervised, clinic, a, a cruise through the uh, Caribbean? <laughs> <laughs> I want I want to be there with you when you make those decisions. You still just knock me out, you know that? <laughs> Ever lost my punch, eh? No, not even a little. I think you're right. I, I think that the more everything is out in the open, the better it's going to be for both of us. Good. Well, I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to log onto the net. I mean, knowledge is power, and uh, I want to know what we're about to face. Okay, I'll let you know when dinner's ready. Deal. I protect you, Brenda. <laughs> 